We've talked about how to produce rotational motion using ball bearings, but that only allows you rotational motion in, in one degree of freedom, right? It's rotating in, in one plane. What if you need rotational motion in all three degrees of freedom? How would you produce that? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, and we use a rod end ball joint, which is this piece of hardware right here. And you can see that there's this joint, it's a, like a ball joint inside that moves very smoothly and freely. Um, some of them don't move quite as freely as this one, at least not until they've been broken in, kind of loosened up a little bit. But um, ultimately you have this really smooth, very controlled uh, motion in three degrees of, of rotational freedom. And so what, what would happen typically is you'll have some kind of uh, a shaft that gets placed through the center of that ball. And now this, this shaft it can move in three degrees of freedom. Now you might, uh, you might put some retaining rings or something like right here so that axially the shaft cannot move. And it's, it's locked in there axially, but uh, rotationally it, it's free to move, you know, this way. That's, that would be one degree of freedom like that. Another degree, second degree of freedom would be like, like that. And then third degree of freedom would be kind of spinning like that. And uh, these, these rod end ball joints, uh, they're also called hind joints sometimes, uh, these produce that, that type of um, rotational freedom in, in three different degrees. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.